Hello again, this is Tubal Kane from Illinois. I was making a part here on my lathe and I was thinking to myself, uh, I better tell the folks about backlash and what it is and why you need to avoid it or, uh, or compensate for it. You can't really avoid it. So, uh, in uh, taking the final pass here on the lathe, I have ten thousands more to go. And I have, uh, so I'm going to do that in one pass. And I've set my cross feed for uh, onto zero, and I'm not sure how well that's going to show up in the video. I'm going to feed it in exactly ten thousandths. Whoops, I went over. I went twelve thousandths. Now, this is exactly what I want to talk to you about. Now, it will do absolutely no good at all to back that off just the two thousandths. You need to back it way up. In about a half a turn and then I'm going to bring it into zero and then right to all screws and nuts have some play in them or backlash and it gets even worse as uh, they wear but uh, here's an illustration uh, using this bench vise here look at how much I can move that movable jaw in and out even though I'm not rotating the screw so there's all kinds of play in here and then, of course in a bench vise it couldn't matter less Now there are uh, two screws in a, a lathe. There's one here in the cross feed controlled by this knob and then there's another one up here in the compound controlled by this knob. And I took the, uh, the little uh, compound cross light off of my hardened lathe because it's very easy to turn it upside down and show you what that looks like. But we have uh, in every lathe these Acme screws that are lead screws. By the way, they're left-hand thread. And there's always brass nuts there, but these wear. Now this little hardens lathe here, there's very little backlash in there or wear because it's had very little use, but there's always some. But in older machines you're going to... Okay, I've mounted a dial indicator on the lathe and it's pushing up against the, uh, the tool block here now. And I've zeroed it, but watch the amount of play when I move the cross slide, not the compound, but the cross slide uh, in both directions. First of all, toward me. Well, I guess I already had it that way, but if I push it away now, we have uh, oh, 15 thousandths or so. Now I'll bring it back, and you can see that it came back to zero. So there's 15 thousandths of uh, play in that uh, screw. Now, Similarly, if we checked it on the compound, we would have at least that much or maybe more. And this is still a lathe that's in pretty good shape. And one other thing I'll show you when you're threading, and uh, I'm going to throw the half nut lever on, engage it I should say. It's engaged, but look at how much I'm able to move the carriage back and forth. So there's that much play between the half nut and the lead screw. Now that's not really backlash, but it is uh, play. And uh, that just goes to show you that whenever you're feeding, you always need to feed in one direction only on the lathe, not back and forth. Always thinking about...